guys. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this bottle rocket with a working parachute that deploys when you shoot it. I will also be showing you how to make the launcher and how to use just a cork and a bike pump to shoot it up in the air. For the bottle rocket portion of this project, you're going to need a garbage bag, a bottle, it doesn't have to be a Coke bottle, but in this case I'm using one, 15 37 centimeter long pieces of string, and three fins cut out of carpet. The first step is to cut out a parachute. In my case, I chose to use a garbage bag. I cut up a small square shape, and now I'm going to cut it into a circle. To do that, I fold it in half once. Keep in mind that you want this to be the bottom, or in the center of your circle. And then you fold it in half again this way. And then keep in mind that this is your center. So you fold it in half in a triangular shape, and then half again. And then once more. Next, you want to find where the shortest part of the garbage bag is. Mine is right here. And you want to cut right there. To have the parachute release air, you want to cut out a small little hole in the middle. So you just grab it to the tip and then just trim off a little bit. So I'm gonna put that aside. When you unfold it, it should be a circle, like so. Okay, so for step two, I cut out 15 40 centimeter strings. And now I'm going to tape them along the outside of the parachute. Keep in mind that you want equal spacing so that it doesn't flop around in the air when it launches. So now we have our completed parachute. The spacing around the parachute should be even, but it does not have to be exact. So now that the parachute is done, we're gonna set it aside and we're going to work on the bottle portion. Okay, so I have already cut out three fins for our rocket. We have a bottle, we're warming up our hot glue gun, and we have some duct tape. Now it's time to assemble it. You need to make sure that the fins are placed evenly around your bottle so it will stay balanced while in the air. When you're hot gluing the fins on, make sure that they stay steady and that it lies on the ground flat. Now that we have our bottle rocket finished, we're going to attach the parachute. So we're going to tie all these strings on the parachute together. So you're just gonna grab each one, like so, and make sure that they line up when you tie them together, or else your parachute will be uneven. When you've gathered up all 15 of the strings, you just want to pull it straight and then tie a little knot. Get it as close to the top as possible so your parachute will have enough string and slack to deploy when you launch it. So you just tie it like that and that's all for now. So now that you have your parachute and your rocket finished, you want to attach them together. So to do that, you cut off a 30 centimeter long string and you just want to tie a little knot in the middle. Just like this. So there's your knot and it's in the middle, like that. Now your knot is all finished. So you want to grab a rubber band. It doesn't matter what size. It's just used to relieve pressure on the parachute and the bottle rocket when you deploy it. So you just wanna tie a little knot around the rubber band, just to secure it. Uh, try and get it to as close to the top as possible so that you have enough string for the uh, parachute to deploy. 
you just want to do it like that. Move it to as close to the top as possible, like, like that. The two knots are right next to each other. And you have the rubber band. For this next part, you have your parachute with the rubber band and the knot. What you want to do is put the rubber band through the knot and do a little knot and tie it there. It doesn't matter what you do to get the knot to stay, you just want it secured. and then you pull and it's secure. With the knot secured to the rubber band, you have two ends now, one on each side. What you want to do is hot glue this end to the top of this bottle. Now you have a fully functioning bottle rocket. Next, I'm going to teach you how to create a launcher. For the launcher, the basic things you're going to need is a bike pump, a little ball pin, and duct tape, and cork. The first step in making the launcher is getting the cork to fit in your ball. So you can just move everything else off to the side for now. And what you want to do is get your bottle, and as you can see here, here's a cork. It does not fit it's a little bit loose inside this bottle. So what you wanna do is grab duct tape and just wrap it around the cork until it's thick enough that uh, it's thick enough and it will fit inside your bottle without being loose or releasing air. You also do not want it so tight that it, will, uh, it won't come out when you apply pressure. So now, the cork will fit inside the bottle, but you see I have to like screw it in a little bit and that's exactly what you want. Now you have a cork that fits inside your bottle snugly. So what you wanna do is drill a hole through the cork that's big enough that will allow the bike pin or the ball pin to stick inside like so. Just like that, that's what you need. Now that the bike pin is in place, you want to grab your bike pump, grab the pin, and just attach it. Now you can put your cork on with the bottle and it sits snugly. It shouldn't be loose and wobble around, it should be firm and steady. This part of the rocket launcher is optional because a lot of people might not have this stuff. So you want two clamps, a bench of some sort, and your bike pump, like this. What you wanna do is have your bike pump and clamp it in a position, an upright position, where the top and where it's releasing air upward. For the second one, it's just to secure it in place. So you want to do it around this and have it so that it's steady. You see how this does not move and it's all steady. So now you have a fully functioning rocket launcher. What you want to do now is grab the cork and your bottle and test if it works. So you screw the cork in and then you can stick the bottle upright like so and it should work if your launcher is good and it works now you can start launching your bottle rocket so for me i have a 710 milliliter bottle and i fill it to about here that's about 400 milliliters of water what you want to do now is stick the cork on and put it on the launcher. I'm not gonna do it inside, but basically you just pump with the bike pump, pump air until it shoots off and launches the rocket. We're gonna go outside right now and go do some test runs. 
Oh my gosh! Oh! It's working! Let's go. Oh. No. Oh.